Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy, and this is, I think, the fourth lesson uh, around VBA, so Visual Basic for Applications, in this case, Excel. And in the previous lesson, we covered for loops, if statements, we covered using evaluate, application worksheet function, using value for the, the different equations. So what we're going to do now is, uh, this is similar to, I made some slight modifications, so what we're going to do now is let me i think i del accidentally deleted the sum so let me just add that back in so b11 dot value is equal to sum uh sum of b2 to b11 b10 right close let me just add that back in so what we're going to show you quickly now is how to do some quick formatting and it's going to seem like a lot of work uh, based off of what we're actually doing but you'll see that it's going to be useful so we're going to go range dot b11 dot let's just go select make it simple and we're going to use active cell so active cell is the cell that you're selected on and we're going to use so formatting does seem like a lot of work in vba versus like just clicking a button clicking bolts but what you'll see is that it'll save you a lot of times because you can do massive areas. So if we go here and we go play and you'll see that it's bold. So that's good. So let's try something different. Let's go dot italics, italic. And if we go true, it should work as well. Good, good. Let's try dot underline. Not sure if this is the correct format, but you have to we'll see oh no it looks like it works it looks like it def defaults to the single underline which is good that's usually what most people are looking for so we can also go die font uh no sorry dot size equals to 12. we could also make it a 200 um or we can make it 20. But if we do that, you'll see that kind of messes up the columns. So let's go columns A through E dot auto fit. There you go. So let's let's play around with this. Let's go active cell dot font dot bold equals true. And let's go active cell dot font dot color, which is the color of the font. So I actually don't use dot color that often. I actually cheat and use uh, color index. So um, actually coming up with the color number is good, uh, especially you want, if you want exact formatting. But in this case, I cheat and use an index. So, so I'll provide a link to, to where I got this chart from. It's very common. Basically, these are the numbers that are first in the index, and then these are the corresponding colors. So one is black, uh, four is this bright green so let's use bright green seems like as good as color as any other so you can see it's bright green so you want to fill the background so we'll go active cell die interior dot color index so uh, we're gonna go dot one so that's handy um, let's add us total so here let's go a 11 dot value is equal to total oh, but now it's not sharing in the fun so let's change that up a bit let's change that up so let's go a b11 so it looks like it's not capturing both of them and the reason why is that it's just going to the active cell which is an active cell is just singular so if we were to change it up you can always change the selection so selection is used with ranges so let's paste here let's paste here format both another way you could do it is you could define it as a range so we're going to go rng as range so this is a little bit tricky so instead of just doing rng equals whatever so we're going to go rng set rng equals to i think you have to do the same thing oh, nope okay come on you have to do the same thing for worksheet as well i believe 
Uh, so we'll go set RNG is equal to that range, and then we'll just change this to RNG. So this is a really, okay, I don't want to save it. Uh, this is a really quick, interesting way of setting a range as a variable, um, which can be interesting, especially if you want to go through each cell, um, run it through with a for loop can be some interesting results. So here, and then we can also do change the sheet name. So we can go active sheet dot name is equal to our sheet. And yeah, there, there you go. So um, really quick and easy way of formatting. There's a number of different formatting techniques, but shows you the main ones, bolding, italics, underline, uh, color of the font, uh, color of the background. I'll show you actually one more, which is um, selection dot font dot, I think font style equals uh, Arial. I'm not sure that's good. We'll see if that works. And then this should make this Arial. Uh, no, it actually didn't. Okay. Let's try this. Active cell dot font dot font style. Uh, I was hoping it's gonna give me a bit more. Okay. Let's try dot name. I have to look up what font style is. I been deceived. Let's try that. There you go. Changes it to Arial. So interesting. You can also um, you can also make this a, a random variable if you wanted as well. So a random size. But I'll leave it at that. So look forward to speaking to you in the next lesson. Next lesson will probably be something a little bit more application based. So um stay tuned and and hopefully i keep things interesting thank you and i uh, look forward to speaking to you next time